Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, add categories to your website. Wix called Categories Collections and they're used to sort of organize your products and assigning them a specific collection. That way people can filter by those collections and then maybe even create a page dedicated specifically to that collection. And overall it'll help people kind of navigate your site better, um, navigate your products. You can showcase specific products if you want to um, and things like that. So once you're on your dashboard, what you want to do is come to store products and go into something called collections. And this is essentially your collections dashboard. By default, there's already one collection and that's all products. When you add a new product, it's automatically assigned the all products collection and you can't change that. Um, so from there, you see all the other collections that you have on your site. Right now, we don't have any. So what we'll do is we'll click this plus sign to add collection or you can just click the plus sign up here and click add new collection. Um, if you have lots of collections, um, what you can do is you can search with this toolbar here and search for a specific collection if you want to edit it. Or you can just scroll down and view for the uh, collection that you have. So you want to just click add new collection and it's going to open a blank version of the collection. So first thing you want to do is add the name. So for example, if this is clothing, this will be the collection name. And then what you want to do is click add products. So you want to add, it'll show you all of the products that you currently have in your store. And obviously in the future, once this collection is created, when you add more products, you'll be able to assign it when you create the product. So you'll add all the products that are already there. And then you want to give it an image. So this collection image isn't displayed anywhere on the site. It's just displayed on the back end of the collections so that um, when you are navigating throughout all the collections on your site, it'll be easier to go through them if you have a collections image attached. But this isn't used on the site, it's used on the back end of the site for you to um, basically make it easier to look for the collection that you want. So you just want to click on collection image. And then either uh, use an image that's already been uploaded to your site or upload media from your computer library and onto your Wix. Um, you can also use media from Wix as, as well, and then just se select um, whatever image you think would suit that collection. And then just click add to page. So yeah, once you've added the name, added all the products, added a collection and the image, you just click save. And then you can see the collection now being added. So now you have two collections, you have the all products and you have clothing. If we go back into products, what you can do is you'll see the new collection show up on the collections tab here. So you can see it's automatically being assigned all products, but then you can also um, click collection uh, clothing as well. You can also create collections from the product page. So right now you can see there's clothing and all products, but there's also an option for create collection. And again, we will just give it um, the collection name, so for example, food, and that's an assigned to food. Products can have more than one collection. So if there's a product that's both a food item and also a clothing item, then you can assign them both. And that way, if you have a page for clothing, then that item will appear in the clothing section, but it will also appear in the food section as well. Um, so just be mindful of that. But you can add it to more than one product, or you can just assign it to the one product. Now that we've added the food collection from here, if we go back to collections, you can see now in the collections we have three. We have all products, clothing, and we have food. If we click into that, we can add products, we can add products in bulk from here. So if we add all of these, but then also add an image as well, we can give it um, an image. Um, you can use media from Wix or you can upload your own image. But essentially you can um, always come back to um, the collections dashboard and make any edits to the actual collection as well. So you've got all products, clothing, food. So you're adding collections both ways. You can either add it directly from the collections page or you can add it as you're adding products as well. And you can always come into collections to edit the actual collections part. If you're wanting to add products in bulk, to the collections then it's easier obviously to go into collections go into the actual collection name and then add products using the add products tool um, so then you're not adding one at a time you can just bulk add them as well 
um, or if you're adding uh, products one at a time, then you would add, you can assign them the co collection as you're adding the new product. So it's up to you how you want to do that. Um, but yeah, once you're all done, you would assign all the products and then that's essentially all the products assigned. Once you have all the collections created, you might decide that you want to have a page dedicated to that product, to that collection. So for example, we have the general shop page, if we go here. Um, but this page displays all of the products, no matter what category or collection that they're in. Um, so you might want to have a page that only shows products that are assigned to the clothing category that we created, collection that we created earlier. So what you want to do then is just add a new page as normal. So we'll just go into manage pages and click um, on site menu. You just want to click add page. And you can either create a blank page or you can just add a store page and look at the um, options that you have. So you can just click add new shop page. And what you want to do is first rename that. So you can call it clothing. And then, uh, again, same as the other one, just style it however way you need to. And then what you want to do then is go into settings. And instead of it displaying all of the categories, what you want to do is go into collection and then select the exact collection that you want it to show. So if I click the collection cl collection category, you can see now it's not showing, showing as many products because it's only showing products that are, sh that are um, assigned to the clothing category. Um, and now if we style this page a little bit, so sim uh, same as last time, so make some space to add a title and maybe a heading. Click add elements to add a title, add a heading one, and then just drag that up at the top. And again, you would just edit this, stretch the container, um, change the font sizes, however way you need to, um, however way that you want to style uh, this page. But essentially, you want to let users know that this is the page for the clothing products. Um, and then below, they have obviously the shop page. And again, you have the same options as you did on the shop page. So if you go into settings, um, you can have people filter by the um, price and product options. They can also have these sorting options as well and you can decide how you want people to filter and how you want them to sort um, on your page. Um, and then now you see at the top you've got the tab for clothing and you can manage that as well. So if you go into um, the site menu and then click manage menu and then just drag that underneath the shop page. That way now when people hover over shop, they'll be able to see the um, clothing as an option. So it's just another way to make things easier for your customers. If they know specifically that they want to shop for clothing products, then they can see that within your shop page um, as well. So when they go, when they first navigate to your um, site and they see shop, then when the drop down comes out, they, they can see easily the clothing co collection. Um, and they can quickly go to that if they need to, instead of having to browse through lots of pages, through lots of, pa uh, through lots of pages, through lots of products to find exactly what it is that they want. Um, so that's another way to kind of use the categories if you uh, wanted to. So you would add the collection first, assign the products to this collection, and then add the new page and make sure that the shop grid is showing, is assigned to that category as well.